Hi Cancer, welcome to your Valentine's Day reading. If you are new here and don't want to miss the daily tarot readings, subscribe now by clicking the red button below this video. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. At the end of this video, if you are interested, I will also record an extended reading to know more specific details on their feelings and intentions for you at this moment. Now let's start with your reading. First, let's shuffle the deck four times for you. Queen of Wands, the overall energy. Okay, so I see someone interested on in you, maybe a fire sign, Aries Lee or Sagittarius. They have passion and are very much attracted towards you. It doesn't say that they love you, but they are very much attracted towards you. You have the Eight of Pentacles and crossed by the Devil in the reverse. It means that you are focused mainly on work now, uh, work you do with passion and energy, but uh, still thinking about that past connection that was toxic. Toxic. You are getting over it, but still attached to that connection. Now, what is affecting you in your subconscious is the wheel of fortune. You want to move things forward now. You don't want to waste any more time. You want a connection that makes you happy with the sound card. Now, in the recent past, and of swords in the reverse, something happened that hurt you a lot, but the pain is lessen lessening now. Uh, in the near future, you have the hangman in the reverse. Someone will uh, not be waiting anymore. I guess it is you. I guess it is you that will not be waiting anymore because you don't expect uh, communication from them with the Knight of Swords in the reverse or you think that the connection with them is not stable. They may be on and off. But the person around you, the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, wants to be more vulnerable. They want to open. Four of Swords in the reverse is your hopes or fears. You fear that you will still be thinking about them. You still know that uh, you are kind of attached to them and that attachment is not healthy, it's toxic. The connection was not healthy. And with a page of wands, there's a communication coming your way. I sense, uh, I hope it is a new connection, I don't know, old or new, we will see. Because I think that you want something new and you don't want to to wait anymore. You don't see any potential uh, with a boss connection. With a hangman in the reverse and the knight of swords in the reverse. Now let's see why the hangman in the reverse. I sense it is you. Nine of wands, yes. You want to give up. Let's see why the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Three of Cups. This person wants to open up and they want to date you. They have been thinking a lot about you. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords and Three of Cups. Let's see why the Page of Wands. Eight of Swords, the world in the reverse, Two of Pentacles, Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I hope it is a new, I think in fact, this is a new person, but the challenge with this new person is that this is a bit indecisive, they have still not cleared the air or are not completely detached from a past connection. And uh, they're a bit confused. They're, let's hope that if you meet them, they don't bring the past into the new connection. And uh, they have been watching you, thinking about you a lot. 
and they want to date you. Maybe this is a person that has been around you but not opening up. You may have an idea. You may have uh, some gut feelings about this person that wants to communicate but they haven't made, uh, made the first move yet. And I think on Valentine's Day they they will make their first move and they want to express something here. This connection can be powerful and they are very attracted towards you with the Queen of Wands as the overall energy. So I see a new person messaging you on Valentine's Day. I will continue this reading in the extended video that I'm just recording now. If you are interested, you can follow me in the extended in the extended link that is in the description box below this video where I will view in more details the energies around you, them and the possible new connection with this person. How do they feel about you? How do they view you? What are their intentions? And also an advice regarding a possible connection with this new person. See you at the next reading and bye for now.